Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to enable and use the whitelist on your Bedrock server. First and foremost, whitelist on Bedrock has now been renamed to allow list. So if you see the name allow list at any point in this tutorial, it just means whitelist. If you have a VPS plan, you can skip straight to the using the whitelist timestamp of this video. It'll be in the description. If you have either the premium or pro plans though, what you have to do is click on the players tab on the left of your dashboard. Afterwards, click on the whitelist section. To enable whitelisting on your server, all you then have to do is press on the enabled button. It may pop up with a prompt telling you to restart your server to apply the changes. Simply press restart. After the server has finished restarting, whitelisting is successfully enabled on your server. To check that whitelisting is working as intended, don't write anyone's username in the whitelist section. Then launch your Minecraft Bedrock game. When it's open, head to the server section and scroll down to add a server. For the server address, refer back to your server's dashboard and copy the host name there. Also make sure that the port number is the one on your server dashboard. Name your server whatever you want and press play. If a screen appears saying you're not invited to play on the server, that means you followed these steps correctly and the whitelist is working. Now that whitelisting is enabled, you just have to add players onto the whitelist. It's really simple, on Premium and Pro, you just have to go back to the whitelist tab and where it says add player, type in the usernames of the players you'd like added. Once you've done that, press enter and it'll add the player to the whitelist. If at any point you'd like to remove someone from the whitelist, all you have to do is hover over the three dots next to their name and click remove. However, if you have a VPS plan, the method is a little different. What you have to do is head into your servers and then the shell tab. Here you can type in allow list add and then the player's name. You can also type in whitelist to add as it'll do the same but you'll know the command is a success when it says player added to the allow list. If you want to remove someone on a VPS though all you have to do is type in allow list remove or whitelist remove and it should say player removed from allow list. Quickly don't forget to add yourself to the whitelist so you can test if it's working correctly. Once you're done adding people make sure to restart the server to apply the changes. Once again, launch your game and try to enter your server. After a little bit, it should let you win. If the same happens for you, you follow these steps correctly. However, if this doesn't happen for you, make sure to go back and refollow them. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.